We continue to track a major winter storm towards central and eastern Kentucky. I'm updating snow totals on the fly. We'll share them with you coming up. Lexington is ready. With a major winter storm on the way, Lexington city leaders talk about their plans for removing snow from roads and keeping people safe. We will take you to Georgetown and Moorhead to show you how people in those cities are getting ready for the snow. WKYT News starts now with First Alert Weather. Good evening. A major, and we mean major, winter storm is heading to the bluegrass. And by the time it moves out, parts of Kentucky could have well over a foot of snow. This storm is expected to have a significant impact across the state. We begin our team coverage tonight with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey has the very latest snow forecast on this WKYT First Alert Severe Weather Day. Chris. Yeah, guys, it's all about watching the radar and watching this storm come together now. And so far, I've seen absolutely nothing that would change any thought process from what we've had over the past few days to where I think we're going over the next couple of days. Now we're within, in some cases, 12 hours of getting this storm system to impact the weather. Here is our low pressure. This is a storm that is really coming together. Notice when you look at a radar here, how you see the radar returns kind of in a V formation. That's when you know that out ahead of that, that air upstairs is spreading. It's going in different directions, and we're getting a massive amount of lift that is coming together for a powerhouse of a storm. It has tornado warnings on the south side of that low. Precipitation breaking out on the northern flank of that into parts of Tennessee. That will explode over the next three or four hours from Memphis toward Nashville and Knoxville. Nothing is out there for now across central and eastern Kentucky. That'll change, though, in a hurry once we get into the overnight hours. Winter storm warning for all 120 Kentucky counties, surrounding counties. That turns into a blizzard warning for our nation's capital up toward the New York City area. Around here, this is a shutdown storm that is on the move. It will jump anywhere from 8 to 16 inches for the areas that are in red. The farther east that we go, those amounts could be closer to 16, 17, or 18 inches of snow. This is for this storm that, again, starts late tonight and into early tomorrow morning. Quickly, I do want to show you an hour-by-hour -hour future radar picture. It's going to show everything green, but this is all snow for the most part that will be coming in here. Watch our timeline, 2 o'clock, 3, 4, 5, and look at this slug of heavy moisture that is coming out of Tennessee toward the region by 5 and 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. So, guys, it is game on for a significant winter storm to blast the bluegrass state, and it may close roads. We'll show you why the winds are going to be a big, big player in this winter storm coming up in just a few minutes. All right, Chris, thank you. Dozens of school districts and universities have already called off classes for tomorrow, including Fayette County and the University of Kentucky. Fayette County schools also canceled all activities tomorrow and Saturday. We want you to check the bottom of your screen for that complete and latest list. Now, late this afternoon, Lexington City leaders held a news conference about their preparations for this storm. Monique Blair joins us live from Lexington with the latest on that. Monique. Well, Sam, during that press conference, Mayor Jim Gray said the city is prepared for the expected snowstorm. He went on to say city officials have been preparing for this particular storm for one week now. Well, it does look like winter has finally arrived in a very big way. Lexington is ready. Many changes were made this year compared to last year as far as how the city will deal with a considerable snowfall. First, they have budgeted to supplement crews with more contractors. And $288,000 has been included in this year's budget just for these this supplementing of our crews. Also, the city has added 7% more roads to the ranking system to be treated and cleared. But officials are asking for those living in neighborhoods to be patient because if we get as much snow as forecasted, it could take a few days before the smaller streets are treated and plowed. We rank them one through four, and four being a lot of our residential areas. So it does, we will be concentrating on the, our f number ones, which are a lot of our main priorities and uh, Manowar Boulevard and Citation Boulevard now that we're, we've got it completed. So they might see us in some parts of their neighborhood, not necessarily deep into residentials. 
Although some roads aren't ranked and won't be treated, the Streets and Roads Department will be out beginning at midnight tonight to salt some of those smaller, less traveled roads. Gray is asking that people do not park along snow emergency routes, and those routes are marked by street signs. He says to help with this, the city is offering free parking from right now until midnight on Sunday at the four parking authority garages. I'm reporting live in Lexington, Monique Blair, WKYT. Monique, thank you. And also, the Fayette County Sheriff's Office is activating its winter care program. Deputies will offer transportation for people who work in the medical industry or those who provide direct services and have to be out in the snowstorm on Friday. They'll also take people to critical medical appointments and pick up critical prescriptions for people. Today, Georgetown city leaders also talked about their preparations for the heavy snow, and they say the winter storms we've had last year have helped them get ready for this one. Victor Puente continues our first alert weather team coverage. Most of the government agencies here in Scott County came together this afternoon to talk about their plan for the next few days. They say last winter's massive snowfalls taught them a lot about how they should be preparing. Mayor Tom Prather led the discussion. He said there was one central idea all of the agencies wanted to communicate. We want to collectively urge drivers to stay off of the streets unless absolutely necessary. Uh, this is a storm that we should not trifle with. Georgetown's new snow plan prioritizes the roads that see the most traffic and the highest speeds. The mayor said the snow that shut down parts of the state last winter taught them some lessons. We thought we were ready. And uh, we were not satisfied with, uh, with the speed of our response. And we vowed to do better. Lessons they put in place just a few weeks later. When the second blizzard rolled through just a couple of weeks later, uh, our performance was significantly better. First responders will be using Humvees and four wheel drive SUVs to help medical staff get to work. The most crucial thing about making that plan work is that we communicate with each other and uh, we do that very well. Deputies will also be patrolling the interstate where crashes are common. But we do anticipate if we get anywhere close to the amount of snow, they're talking about travel conditions being hazardous on the interstates. The city of Georgetown is working with five private contractors who will be helping with snow removal. The mayor says those companies are set to go on call in about an hour. In Scott County, Victor Puente, WKYT. And because city workers will be focused on snow removal, the mayor says there will not be any garbage pickup in Georgetown tomorrow. Kentucky Utilities leaders say their crews will be ready in case the winter storm causes any power outages. They suggest having non-perishable food and bottled water in your home in case you lose electricity for an extended period. KU plans to have crews on standby as the storm hits. If there's an area of the state that has a whole lot more outages than another area, yes, we have the capability and flexibility to move crews from one location to another uh, so that we can uh, kind of muscle up. If you lose power, KU says you can report the outage and see how long it will take for crews to restore electricity by using the KU app on your smartphone. Moorhead State University is among the universities closed tomorrow, but MSU leaders are making sure students who will be staying on campus during this storm stay safe. Garrett Weimer has the latest tonight from Moorhead. Classes are already canceled and offices already closed for tomorrow here at Moorhead State. But with all the snow expected to be dumped on us here, school administrators say they still had to prepare for the big snowstorm. MSU administrators say over the past few days they've been keeping their eyes on the weather forecast, but it just kept getting worse. This afternoon they decided to go ahead and close on Friday. Provost Steve Ralston says they wanted to announce it early to avoid putting anyone in danger tomorrow. Plus, students could make plans to go home for the weekend if they want to. But they've still taken steps to get ready for the storm because they have to make sure campus is safe for a lot of students who live here. Life goes on for those students. The food service is open, uh, whatever, all the services that the students need are, are still in the rec center will be open. Uh, and that's communicated to them uh, through, we have many alert systems that we, 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 in fact, I sent an email out to everyone about a few days ago to be familiar with our emergency systems, weather, direct them to the web page. Ralston says the individual departments and agencies have their own procedures to make sure those essential employees who have to be here tomorrow can actually get here. At Moorhead State in Rowan County, Garrett Weimer, WKYT. 
And as we've mentioned before, check the bottom of your screen for updated closings. We'll also have a complete list at WKYT.com. Lexington stores have been swamped with people today, stocking up ahead of this storm. Lowe's workers told us they're having trouble keeping shovels in stock. And Kroger stores have been very busy, but workers say they're keeping plenty of milk and bread on hand. But some shoppers say they're looking for other things, too. Just some milk and coffee creamer and stuff for the 14-year-old. <laughs> Hot pockets. Spaghetti sauce, spaghetti, some cheese, um, chili powder, make some chili, milk. Oreos, uh, ground beef. I vote for Oreos. <laughs> Kroger officials expected the stores to be just as busy tonight as more and more people get off of work. Stay with WKYT throughout the day tomorrow for complete live team coverage of the winter storm. And WKYT this morning will start early at 4 a.m. Tonight, investigators are trying to figure out what led to a deadly crash in Whitley County involving a salt truck. The crash happened late this morning on Highway 92 east of Williamsburg. Police say the salt truck and a car collided head on, killing a man in the car. As Phil Pendleton tells us, the road was closed for hours. Drivers were stopped. Traffic was at a standstill just before noon on the narrow, curvy Kentucky 92 East. An accident has occurred on East Highway 92. Involved a uh, state vehicle and a passenger car. A white four door car was headed away from Williamsburg when the driver collided with a state Department of Highways truck. At this time, everything's still under investigation, uh, pending the investigation with the state police and uh, Kentucky Vehicle Enforcement. The roads were wet at the time of the crash, but snow or ice was not visible. It's not known that the truck was actually in the process of laying down salt when it happened. The person that um, passed away is it, uh, the driver of a passenger car. There were two other occupants, one in the back seat and one uh, in the passenger seat. The driver is a man from Williamsburg. The driver of the salt truck was taken to the hospital for observation, but we're told that he was not hurt. In Whitley County, Phil Pendleton, WKYT. Just within the last hour, the coroner identified the man killed in the crash as 57 year old Billy Ray Stevens of Williamsburg. New tonight, Lexington police say a child had to be taken to the hospital after being found alone outside in the cold. Police say neighbors reported seeing the child wandering around homes on High Lawn Avenue near Bryan Avenue. Police say the child was taken to the hospital as a precaution, but he appeared to be doing okay. They're not sure why the child was alone, but at this point, they're not filing any charges. The UK basketball team is back on the road tonight, this time against Arkansas. What coaches on both sides are saying about tonight's game later in sports. Here comes our major winter storm. We're tracking it from Texas toward the Bluegrass State. A massive amount of snow may fall over the next 36 hours. The latest snowfall forecast and hour by hour outlook to time the snows in is just ahead. Snow is really starting to fall out there. Things are really starting to pile up. Snow has been falling fast. It's been falling hard. So the snow is steady and still coming down. This is just the beginning today, sort of a prelude, right? Yeah, it's going to cause problems across a big chunk of the country. 98.1 The Bull and Hardy's presents the Red, White, and Boom Music Festival 2016. Starring Jason Aldean. Country. Eric Church. Florida Georgia Line, Thomas Red, Cole Swindell, Casey Musgraves, and many more. Powered by the Lexington Clinic. Labor Day weekend, September 2nd through the 4th at the Whitaker Bank Ballpark, Lexington. Tickets on sale now at redwhiteandboom.com. There's just something special that makes Simple Truth and Simple Truth Organic a natural part of every family. Great food is something all generations can enjoy together. And you'll find hundreds of smart choices, even brand new products for baby and your home. Just look for the Simple Truth green circle on the label. Simple Truth. Putting simple within reach. Right now, save up to $40 with digital coupons at simpletruth.com. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Lexington Overstock Warehouse is having our huge annual floor model sale. Don't miss this opportunity to grab new furniture and mattresses at a fraction of store prices. Save up to 80% off select display models. Come early to get your best selection. LexingtonOverstockWarehouse.com. The candidate from Cartown Kia can give people $8,000 off new Kia Optimus. What can you offer? Well, we have... 
yesterday's coffee. <laughs> There's no debate. Get $8,000 off MSRP on all select new 2015 Kia Optimas in stock at Car Town Kia. Take home a new 2016 Kia Sorento SUV for only $189 per month. And if you have a job bringing home $350 per week, we want to approve your credit. We can do credit. We don't do credit. Don't debate it. Get to Car Town Kia. CBS Tonight. Falling in love with a rich guy is great. To Christy. For your mother. I'll tell you what's going to happen. I'm going to ride this pony right into the winter circle. Hey, at least somebody's happy. Do you not see the big picture here? That you're pimping out your daughter? Oh, so you do see it. A new mom. Then, you've never met a guardian angel like Amy. You're getting a face full of sisters now, aren't you? I'm sorry. Or, should I say you're welcome? New Angel from Hell, right after a new mom, CBS Tonight. <gasps> Ooh, somebody's in trouble. They smelled bacon and cheddar and ranch on these curly fries. Oh, and now they're offering them as part of the mix and match two for five dollars deal at Arby's. Oh, man, Arby's is going to be so mad. Arby's, we have the meats. Get weather plus traffic with a WKYT weather app. Have the Defender Radar Network in the palm of your hand while checking your driving conditions for your commute on the same screen. Weather plus traffic on the WKYT weather app. Winter storm warning is out for the entire state of Kentucky. A massive winter storm is on the way. Late tonight and through Friday into Saturday, it is likely to shut down much of the bluegrass state during this time. I think we're going to have road closures and we're going to have the possibility of some power outages at some point over the next 36 hours, especially as heavy snow combines with winds of 30 to 40 miles an hour to create havoc across the region. Here's that winter storm warning that is out tonight through the day, tomorrow and into early on Saturday at least. Snow, sleet, freezing rain south to north tonight. And first thing tomorrow morning, we're going to see a significant band of snow that will be taking over. And it will grow heavy as the day goes on. There will be times tomorrow that we could pick up two inches of snow per hour into parts of the region. That's absolutely insane. You have no idea how hard it has to snow to put down two inches in an hour. That can cause roads to shut down, A, because of accidents, and B, just to keep people off certain stretches of roads because of the blowing and drifting snow that is also ongoing. We go into tomorrow evening. The snow will lighten up a little bit. It's still going to be on the moderate side, and then lighter snows will follow that up into the day on Saturday. 8 to 16 inches of snow for areas in red. Get into eastern Kentucky. We're talking about the possibility of 10 to 18 inches of snow. I do have several computer models that have higher totals than what I have here. There are some hot spots on those models of close to 20 inches from parts of the metro and into eastern Kentucky. Not ready to go that crazy as of yet. I think 10 to 18 is plenty enough right now, but the potential is there for some higher amounts. Southern Kentucky, here's the wild card. You're going to get in on a period of some freezing rain to start out the day tomorrow. Could be some local icing issues early in the morning before you make that switch over to snow. So that will impact just how much snow you can get. Farther north toward Covington, southern Indiana, not a whole lot compared to your neighbors to the south. Still, potential is there for several inches. Nothing on the Defender Radar Network, though. Look at the moisture now. Right on cue, beginning to creep into Tennessee, we're going to see the returns showing up a little greater as that low pressure strengthens from the Dallas area. And chances are that low is going to ride into Mississippi, into Alabama, into far southern Tennessee. Farther north it gets, the more moisture it's going to bring into Kentucky. If it stays into northern Alabama or north Georgia, then the heaviest snows will be south of 64. If it somehow comes all the way into deep into Tennessee, then the Tire, even northern Kentucky gets in on better than a foot of snow. So the threats that we are tracking now are all into the high category. If I could add another category beyond high, we'd put it in there too. Snowfall, road conditions, we may have road closures, high winds, and blowing and drifting snow all into the high category both tomorrow, into tomorrow night, and into the day on Saturday too. Watch the snows progressing to the north. 7 o'clock in the morning right across the I-64 corridor. Notice how we get these bands of dark, deep blue here. That is the model saying, hey, these are the areas that can pick up 1 to 2 inches per hour. Through 5 o'clock tomorrow, uh, the snows then start to wrap at us from northeast to southwest. And we just sit there. 
we see the snows keep coming at us. 7 o'clock on Saturday morning. We go through noontime, Eastern Kentucky. Still got those snow bands that are ongoing. Then look what follows that up as guys try to clear as we go into Saturday night and Sunday morning. See those numbers? Those have negative signs in front of them. So the models that are clean the skies up Saturday night into Sunday morning have temperatures going below zero with the deep snowpack on the ground. So we've got right at zero on Sunday morning, just in case those guys do clear. Winter storm the next few days, guys, likely to shut down roads, and you don't want to be caught out on the roads if that happens. Two inches per hour on some of the snows mm -hmm. tomorrow. That is about as heavy as you will ever see around here. It's not just Kentucky, right? We've got a lot of company. That's right. A lot These winter storm warnings go from Tennessee Valley through the Ohio Valley and mid-Atlantic states where they turn into blizzard warnings for the nation's capital. Mm -hmm. Better than 30 inches of snow will fall into parts of West Virginia, mm -hmm. Virginia, toward the D.C. area. All right. It's insane. It's a historic storm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Chris. Well, tonight the Cats will try to find a way to win at Arkansas. It has not been easy to win down there in Bud Walton Arena. What makes the Razorbacks go? And could Derek Willis keep making a contribution tonight? That's next on WKYT. WKYT First Alert Weather is brought to you by Lexington Athletic Club. During Quantro Cadillac's winter sales event, lease a new 2016 SRX equipped with luxury package, sunroof, leather heated memory seats, and much more for only $4.51 per month. You really can afford America's most luxurious crossover at Quantrell Cadillac. When you play Kentucky lottery games like Cash Ball, college students all over Kentucky cash in. Fueling imagination. Funding education. There's just something special that makes Simple Truth and Simple Truth Organic a natural part of every family. Great food is something all generations can enjoy together. And you'll find hundreds of smart choices, even brand new products for baby and your home. Just look for the Simple Truth green circle on the label. Simple Truth. Putting simple within reach. Right now, save up to $40 with digital coupons at simpletruth.com. This is Brett Melrose. With winter almost here, the experienced team at Fayette Heating and Air stands ready to serve you. Dedicated to keeping you and your family comfortable around the clock, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year, with no additional overtime fees ever. Fayette Heating and Air, we're the biggest because we're the best. And we're here for you anytime, day or night. Call 233-0424. Fayette Heating and Air, complete home solutions. I love you, Dad. Matt, it's a time that comes for all of us. I don't want a funeral. I've planned my end-of-life celebration. They've recorded my biography to be played. I share my happiest memories, friends, your mom, and of course, you. I'm proudest of you, Matt. Contact Clark Legacy Center to plan your end-of-life celebration. At the end of the broadcast, I'm most proud of what we have done as a team. This is the ultimate team sport, television news. And to deliver to the American people the highest quality news broadcast in the world today, that is a very satisfying feeling. All your worlds are about to change. Now the time has come. I've been tasked with assembling an elite team to travel through time because the future of the world is in peril. The plan is simple. We stop Vandal Savage in the past, and we save the future. We have the power to change the world. Let's get this party started! DC's Legends of Tomorrow. Series premiere tonight at 8, 7 central on The CW. During Quantro Cadillac's winter sales event, lease a new 2016 SRX equipped with luxury package, sunroof, leather heated memory seats, and much more for only $4.51 per month. You really can afford America's most luxurious crossover at Quantrell Cadillac. So many great battles with Arkansas down through the years, and tonight it's another critical game in Fayetteville. Both teams going in off losses. The Razorbacks are led by Athlon Bell and Dusty Hannes. And the Hogs are the only team in the SEC that has consecutive wins at home against Kentucky. You know, Athlon Bell and uh, Hannes can really, really shoot the ball. Uh, if you look at their stats, um, they take the majority of their threes, those two young men, 
uh, but shoot it at a really high percentage. I call them, I would call them both elite shooters. Razorbacks coach Mike Anderson has done quite well against John Calipari compared to the rest of the SEC. Arkansas is 4-4 four and four against Kentucky since Calipari arrived in Lexington. And the Razorbacks have not lost at home against UK. But like everyone else in the conference, Arkansas will get its first look at a brand new Kentucky team. Year to year, teams change. I mean, you can't compare last year's team. I mean, they got seven guys in NBA, I think. Uh, now you bring in a, another crew, uh, but it's still Kentucky. And, uh, and I think uh, those guys, they got McDonald's All Americans on that basketball team. Uh, they've had some great wins already this year. Duke, Louisville. Uh, you know, and, and of course, once you get the league play, it, it you know, people are a little bit more familiar with them. Now, Derek Willis is not one of those McDonald's All-Americans, but he has been getting more and more minutes. He played 31 minutes at Auburn Saturday, finished with 12 points and 12 boards. Derek's in a great frame of mind. I mean, he's carried over in the last two days and really has done what he did there. Um, I'm happy for him. Uh, can he continue? Uh, it seems like it, but today's a different day. He's finally rebounded the ball with two hands. He was playing way above the rim. He made very easy plays. He made, a, he made a crazy play in practice yesterday, but he just said he lost his mind. All right, Kentucky and Arkansas, you can see it at 7 o'clock tonight. It's on ESPN. You know, each year since 1981, the Lexington Herald Leader has awarded the Kentucky Sportsman of the Year. Next Tuesday night, this year's winner will be announced at the annual Bluegrass Sports Commission dinner here in Lexington. Tonight, another of the 10 finalists announced. Kendra Harrison transferred to Kentucky to make a name for herself, and it didn't take her long to accomplish that. Harrison won the NCAA indoor national title in the 60 meter hurdles then won the NCAA outdoor title in the 100 meter hurdles and finished second in the 400 hurdles. Along the way, the UK women finished second nationally in the outdoor championships. Harrison was named the National Track Athlete of the Year and a first team academic All-American. And all kinds of cancellations. The big showdown tonight between number one Pikeville and number two Georgetown College has been postponed now until Monday night. The women's game is scheduled for six, followed by the men's game at eight o'clock. The two top teams in the country out of the Mid-South Conference. Sam Amber, back to you. Rob, thank you. A final check of your first alert forecast is next. Then on the CBS Evening News, would you like to live to a hundred? A new study finds more people will. Hardy's presents the Red, White, and Boom Music Festival 2016. Jason Aldean, Church, Florida Georgia Line, Thomas Ross, Cole Swindell, Casey Musgraves, Red, White, and Boom.com. After 18 years of hot flashes, I had had enough. My thyroid was non functioning. Used to have a lot of trouble with fatigue. I had dry skin. I didn't sleep. My energy level is amazingly high. No more hot flashes. Body Shapes Medical has changed my life. Go beyond the ordinary with striking design. Go beyond innovation with available intuitive touchpad technology. Go beyond utility with the Lexus NX Turbo and Hybrid. Once driven, there's no going back. Lease the 2016 NX 200 Turbo for $369 a month for 36 months. See your Lexus dealer. Stop paying high electric bills. Call Eastern Airflow and upgrade to a new energy efficient Timstar heating system. With offices in Richmond and Prestonsburg, we serve all central and eastern Kentucky. We now offer in house financing for Timstar systems. Win $10,000 at Toyota on Nicholasville and pay off your holiday bills. Test drive any new Toyota before March 1st and you'll be entered to win $10,000. No purchase necessary. Get 0% for 60 months. New Corollas, only $149 a month. New Camrys, $169 a month. And you could win $10,000 at Toyota Nicholasville. The big Toyota store. Where price sells cars. More specials at ToyotaOnNicholasville.com. When winter is at its worst, that's when WKYT calls a first alert severe weather day. Keeping your family safe with the power of the Defender Radar Network and the entire first alert weather team. Plus, continuous coverage on air. 
on WKYT.com and wherever you are with our news and weather apps. Because when the snow starts falling, it takes an experienced team to stand for you when the weather gets tough. First alert severe weather days, only on WKYT. Lease a sensational all-new 2016 Volvo XC90 for only $4.99 per month at Quantrell Volvo. Next wheel. You sure there's nothing you'd like to talk about? If you're going to put me on the spot like this, we're going to have a really difficult time, okay? Find out if he trumps the competition. Next wheel. Show off. Uh, you know. Wheel of Fortune, tonight at 7 on WKYT. Body Shapes Medical gave me back everything I needed to be the best husband, father, and 44-year-old police officer. And they can do the same for you. This week only, all police and firefighters get these benefits along with $600 off an annual membership. Call today. We are talking about this major winter storm. Lexington's mayor telling everyone stay home tomorrow. You're saying stay off the yeah, roads. Yeah, it's a good idea. And I, you, I, you've heard me say that twice. Mm -hmm. And that was during both snowstorms last year. And that's been about it. 8 to 16 inches for parts of central Kentucky, 10 to 18 for eastern Kentucky. This is everything that falls from tonight through tomorrow and into Saturday. Winter storm warning is out for the entire state, all 120 counties. Nothing on our Defender radar network, but look what's coming from Tennessee. Tonight at 11, we will likely see precipitation in southern Kentucky. All the latest closings on WKYT.com.